This is Jared from Commit to Quality. In this video, we're going to go over how to use query parameters in Postman. So we're going to be using Board API as an example. If you've been following my previous videos, you should be in the same state where you have this request for Board API. And what I'm going to actually do is duplicate this request. And I'm going to say um, get specific. get specific type which what we're going to do is use this api but we're actually going to use a query parameter to say choose what type we want and we've got an example of it right here so there's two different ways you can add a query parameter as well we can either pass them by easily appending it to the url or we can use the query params option on postman and i'll show you both of these so the first simple one is i'm just going to take this so the syntax you've got the question mark type recreational and hit send and what you can see is it's given us an activity which has the type of recreational so this one is go to the local thrift shop learn how to play a new sport that was just by adding it to the url here what you might have noticed is inside params it also added the key and value for us so if i actually remove this you can see it's gone and the other way of doing it is by setting the key and value here so i could say type is the key and it's, at, it's already adding it to the URL for us. And then the value, we can say wherever we want. So in this case, I'm just going to say recreational again. If I hit send, it does the exact same thing. It just kind of did it in the reverse order. So you can use both ways to set your query parameter. And you can add multiple ones as well. You could say, um, what else can we take? Maybe we can say participants. So I'll say participants. And maybe I want to do something which has two participants. And what you've seen now is with the URL, it's added this ampersand to say, I've got two query params. One, which is saying, get me a type of recreational and another one, which must have participants of two. So if I hit send on this, oh, it looks like there's been nothing there. So let's just say one, hit send. And now you've got do yoga make a couch for them now that's a really cool one but there's the difference how you can do it so you always start your query parameters off with the question mark if you have one you just have to do the key equals whatever value and if you want to add more you then start to add in ampersand participants or whatever the key and values would be and to add even more you just keep doing it this way and it'll add them in it's up to you which way you prefer to do it if you want to do it via the url completely fine or like say postman has this nice ui interface to add more for you so one thing I really want you to be aware of as well is I'm just going to remove this participants for now and it's the casing. So let's take type. If we hit send, it's given us type of recreational. However, if this was a capital T, it's not going to actually take this query param for the type that we expect in because it is case sensitive. So if I hit send, okay, we had recreational there. Keep it in send. There we are. Now we've gone to music. Keep it in send. You've got relaxation, DIY. And the reason why is because of this is sensitive. Casing really does matter. And I always suggest with this that you copy and paste your query params directly from the documentation. That's just so you can avoid any typos and any issues with casing. So let's just revert this back to T, lowercase t, hit send. Keep hitting it. You see now the type we have is always recreational. Plan a trip to another country. Now that would be a good one too. Like I say, you can change it to one. You can add more in. Postman gives you all these options. You can completely remove it if you wanted to by clicking the delete button here. So just to recap then, whenever you see a question mark in the URL, you know that it's using a query parameter. You can also add more than one query query parameter so like i said we can add participants as another one using the ampersand you can add multiple so i could add another one saying let's just say price and put it a zero because that's what we see there see do yoga take a hike given all with price zero so now we've scoped the only activities coming back with recreational on my own <laughs> and it doesn't cost me any money it sounds like my normal weekends and what you're seeing is the url updates with it and like i say you can remove them here set it back to default you can completely bin one off add them back in whatever you want to do with it and that's it that's just an introduction to query parameters and how you can easily use them if you have any questions please drop a comment below a like and subscribe is appreciated and thank you for watching